Hello, today I'm doing my September Bookopolathon TBR, so let's get started. I rolled eight, um, like I normally do. Uh, it's something that's achievable for me. It's something that I always do, because um, I normally do Bookopolathon, or Bookopoly for myself. So I thought eight was achievable for myself. Um, I've already done the rolls. I didn't film it because I am bad and I don't I don't know how to film it like and make it make make it work for camera. So we're just gonna go with the prompt, show you the book that I got for the prompt, and just go from there. So starting with roll number one, I got pattern and text. And the book I chose for that is The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshi. Uh, this is a young adult fantasy. Oh, apparently it's historical. I didn't know this. Um, it's 1889, I guess. I literally know nothing about this. But um, I've heard things about it. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to read this. I literally know nothing about this book. Uh, next is TBR game. I spun a wheel and uh, had a bunch of books on the wheel to see to determine what prompt or what book I was gonna read. And the book I got for that was The Atlas Six by Olivia B. Blake. I'm going to audiobook this, like I'm gonna do for most of these books. Um, this is probably gonna be the first book I read in the month because this library copy is due back pretty early in the month, so I'm just gonna knock it off immediately. Um, this is about a secret society called the Alexandrian Society? Yes. Um, and apparently all the characters are unlikable. All I know about this one, it also started as an indie published book, but then uh, it got picked up by a publisher by Tor, I guess. All right, next we have for the prompt of features of romance, I got It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. This is about a spoiled rich girl, I think, um, who is cut off. So she decides to go to a like port town, I think. I, I just know people really like Tessa Bailey and the series, so I wanted to give it a shot. And yeah, I'm intrigued enough that I'm excited to read it, obviously, or else I wouldn't put it on my TBR this month. Next, we have first person point of view, and I need to double check that this is first voice, first person, because I literally don't remember. This is not first person. Oh my god. I guess I'm not reading this one for this prompt. But the one they had originally was The Dream of Broken Kings, which is apparently not first person. I definitely thought this entire series was first person. I don't know what I'm going to read for this prop now. Maybe I'll swap this one and it have one summer if that one is first person, but yeah, I literally completely forgot that this series is third person apparently. Um, this follows a wolf shifter, um, and a girl from, like, modern time who gets transported into the future, where there's, like, a bunch of different, like, creatures, um, and, yeah, this one is the final book in the original trilogy. I'm excited to get into the vampire smut of this series. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I have one summer is first person and swap these two for each other prompts wise. I need to pull up, see if I can find a sample of it happened one summer and just hope and pray. Next we have her soul to take, which is the prompt of most recent. I most recently added it to my Goodreads CBR when I was picking my 
TBR, so that's why I got this book, Her School to Take, by Harley LaRue. I was um, in Becca's 48-hour uh, readathon that she does with her patrons, and she was reading this. It sounds really good. I love, I love romance. I'm down to read anything that has romance in it, so I'm excited. Next, we have something that has people on the cover, and I got Soul Eater Volume 9, just to mix some uh, manga in there, because I really like manga, and it's just going to make it easier for me to read my entire TBR. And also, I really want to get caught up, or like finish this series, because I've only watched the, watched the anime, so I want to finish the, reading the manga. Um... This follows a girl named Maka Albarn and her death scythe, or sorry, eventually become death scythes, but a, her scythe weapon, soul, soul eater, um, as they try to become death, as he tries to become a death scythe and she is trying to make it so that happens. It's a lot more complicated to describe than I guess I thought it was. All right, next, I'm gonna talk about like all of this series all at once, but one of them takes place, one of them is later, but yeah. So the prompt of 2000 to 2019 and also third person, I have City of Dragons and Blood of Dragons. I Rob Hob. This is the same series, so I'm just gonna pull them up now. Uh, this is Robin Hobb's fourth series. I am so close to being caught up with Catch Up Book Club, but I'm not gonna make it in time and I'm so frustrated. Um, I'm currently reading the book book two, which is Dragon Haven. Um, I'm not loving this series, I'm gonna be honest, it's fine. This series is fine. I'm not loving this. I'm not hating it. It's fine. Um, I don't really know what to say about this series because I feel like everyone knows this series. So, and, like the entire realm of the elder elderlings. I'm going to also try and read at least Fool's Assassin, I think, is book one of the final series. But probably going to be finishing. Realm of the Elderlings in October. And lastly, the prompt that I got before prompt for Blood Blood of Dragons, which was a uh, random emoji. I got an emoji that is literally the same color of this book. I picked Stormcaster by Cinder Williams Shima. This is book three in the Shattered Realm series, which takes place after the Seven Realm series. Which is one of my favorite books, book series. I love that series. This series is not that great. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It's fine. I don't love this series. I don't hate it. Just like the other one that I just mentioned. This series is fine. Um, the original series follows a... Let me see if I can remember the characters' names. Princess Raisa? I think that's I think that's her name. The the uh, original series is up there, but I'm pretty sure that her name is Raisa. And it follows her and a guy who I can't remember, but they're basically one's a princess, one is a thief I think um but he finds finds out that he's actually a mage and they're working I literally don't remember how to pitch this series because book one is completely different from the rest of the series and the original so I don't remember how to pitch the first series the first book oh well um if I finish my TBR uh, which I'm going to try and finish this last. 
Um, I'm going to attempt to roll as I go. Just roll a prompt and see what I can fill. And just keep doing that if I finish these books. If I do, and I roll as I go, you'll get that at the end of September. So I'll see you guys next time. Tell me what you guys are reading down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!